Innovate is a tabletop game where you get to uncover innovative new policy solutions for some of the most important issues we face today. It's easy to play. First, let's set up the board. You have five challenge themes you can play. Today, let's play Waste Reduction. Step 1. You have five stacks of policy proposal cards under different categories. Within each stack are four different policy suggestions. Pick one group. Divide the group into four stacks of identical policy proposal cards. Turn each stack face down. Reorder the stacks until you do not know which policy is where. Pick a random group and remove one policy proposal from it. From the other groups, remove two, three and four policy proposal cards respectively and discard the extras. Shuffle the remaining policy proposals to create a policy group. Repeat steps one to seven for the remaining policy groups. Almost ready. Now you'll need five players. This game is played cooperatively. Next, lay out the remaining cards. You have one network deck, which includes event cards and stakeholder cards. The event cards are like wild cards. They cause you to gain or lose money. More on that later. Our stakeholders are community, technology, academia, industry and entrepreneurship. For now, separate the stakeholders and events into separate piles. You have a total of 30 coins and a budget card with five spaces. So that's five coins per round and five for the bank. OK, we're all set up. Let's play. The object is to see which policies will be supported by the highest number of stakeholders, so we need to try and turn over as many policy proposal cards as possible. Each player receives two network stakeholder cards. Then reshuffle the deck, adding the event cards back in. When it's your turn, you have three options. Launch a survey by playing one or more network cards with different stakeholders. So you can't have more than one kind of stakeholder in this group. You want to mix. Launch a round table by playing one or more networks with the same stakeholder groups. So every stakeholder in this group is the same. You don't have a move, or you think your card is more useful for someone else, so you give your card to a teammate. Launching surveys and roundtables comes out of your budget, so make sure there is enough and it's worth it. Remember, a round is each player playing once, and you only have five coins per round and you want to be able to turn over as many policy cards as possible before you run out of money. So, which option should we take with these cards? Let's do option two, a community round table. We've only used one card, so that costs three coins. And we have two community stakeholders, so we get to turn over two community policy proposal cards. The policies suggested by the community are advertise waste effects on the environment and encourage household waste sorting. You must always have two stakeholder cards in your hands. We played one, so we must draw another. And an event card. So we've got a popular card. From now until your next turn, any combo that anyone plays that includes a blue stakeholder is one coin cheaper. Congrats! At the start of your next turn, the event card goes into the discard pile. Draw another card. Who's next? Throughout the game, we will turn over more and more policy proposal cards, giving us insights and sparking debates. At the end of five rounds, we should have an idea of the most popular policy from each stakeholder group, like these. Visit our website to download your own version of the game and find out more. Thanks for playing!